L.E.S. Yes. I know in South Africa it's like, ah, that is. But he says you don't, you don't answer his phone calls. I don't answer Why? his phone calls. American. Hey, Liz. What's going on? Some people are calling you Dale. <laughs> <laughs> people don't understand Yo, what I the remember. vibes are, bro. What's going on? So tell me, you grew up in the States. Yeah, so I was born in America, mm. Washington, D.C. Mm. Parents are South African, black, Tswana. Came to. Your parents are Tswana? Yes. Do I'm, you boo? I'm black. Like, Do you boo? No, I boo. What boo? Touch and go. Ah, Dales, you're black! Come on, Kai, Gada! I just knew I was African, you know, so yeah. when we went back, when we came home, yeah. you know, it's like I met like my real grandmother, like yeah. my real aunties and uncles, yeah. my real cousins. Yeah. And and them being from like Soweto, it's like, whoa, you know, it was a really big kind of culture shock. Tell me yeah. about North God. Uh, the all white pool parties definitely play a very big role. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, legendary stuff. Legendary pool parties at the 313. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think the person who like really cemented it like on camera and just put the name out to the world was Burner Boy. Yo, shout out to Burner. Boy. Yeah, on the All Eyes on Me video, remember it's like, yo, North God. Well, you want to chat to Les? All right, dog. Yo, North God. Hello. I love to be around people. Mm. I love making people laugh. Mm-hmm. I love having a, a, a good time with people. Mm. And like a lot of people always like, yo, Les, you, you're just too humble. It's like, well, then sorry, I'm just too humble because I like people. So People say you're too humble. Yeah. Why? Have they met you? <laughs> Have those people met what, you? What do you mean? Oh like, my god! Ma- maybe some, maybe the inner people. I don't know, a lot okay, of people okay. lately, but maybe it's because where I am in my life. I grew up in a house that was always having parties and I just love throwing parties. And my parents had been giving me that chance, you know, like I think I remember I finished school and you know you take that gap year and you're like, that gap year, like yeah. that's the year when you're supposed to be like, oh Find my yourself. God. Mm-hmm. And like my parents are just like, you know, it's done. Like you just need to go back, you need to go to the States, your brother's in the States, you are an American citizen, you have the opportunity, just go and just, you'll do Flourish. Thing, flourish there mm-hmm. and I'm like nah like what we're doing is special because the, the sound that Pongani created was special you know the motherland sound I took the risk and I, I just like I, I you know I booked the ticket without my parents knowing and I just did some some really risque stuff for a young uh, for a young man and I was really sure of myself and, and came back and, and literally as I came back you know this is it and then you get a record deal yeah. Now the money comes. Yeah. What's that like? Look, the money for me, uh, you know, like when you're young and like I'm very fortunate, I lived a very fortunate life. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really, wasn't really doing it for money. Mm-hmm. I was just doing it to just to be on, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just to be like, I told you. I'm- yeah, to be yeah, on. So, yeah, yeah. So I was really, for me, it was just really about the rock and roll lifestyle, the girls, the tours, yeah, just signing T-shirts, you know that real like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. The money, I don't really care. I knew me personally. I knew when I'm coming in this, I'm changing this whole thing. I'm keeping my shades on the whole night, yeah. like <laughs> the whole time. Niggas don't speak to me. Yeah. He's gonna try, try, I'm speaking English, I'm rapping English. <laughs> I don't wanna hear nothing. Like, yeah, North I, boys. even though I'm Twana, yeah. I'm talking about where I'm from, I'm from Santon, that's it. It's yeah. my story, I'm sticking to it. It's either, yeah. you, it's either you in or you out. I come over here every single weekend to come skateboard, yeah. uh, meet, with, meet up with the homies, yeah. and one of the homies being Bongani Fasi. Bongani Fasi, of course, yeah. right? Your boy. Yeah. yeah, of course, my boy. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, right? Sure. So, you know, he would we'd skate together, mm-hmm. but then at the same time, when we get tired of skating, yeah. then we would chill. Yeah. You know, we would smoke. Because you know, yeah. I'm grown enough to tell you that we would smoke. So we smoke. Okay. We smoke up the weed. And then once we start smoking up the weed, we start busting out the vibes. You know what I'm saying? So Bongani would be beatboxing. Uh-huh. I'd be trying to, you know, trying to emulate him, trying yeah. to beatbox. So I yeah. thought, like, wow, yeah. that's such an amazing thing that this guy's doing. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually, I ended up rapping in that tunnel over there. Okay. okay. Yeah. We'd sit in there, we'd smoke in that tunnel. I remember this day so clear. We were doing it for so long, for probably for about like 30 minutes, just yeah. rapping and beatboxing and stuff. Yeah. That when we came out of the tunnel, yeah. there was probably about like 30, 40 people just all outside listening to us. Whoa. There were even people like outside 
outside on the other side of the fence. Yeah. Just, just listening it was like to a us. Concert. Yeah, it really yeah. was kind of like a concert. Yeah. And I think from then on, uh, you know, me and Bongs, we, we realized that, yeah, what we got is something special. Yeah. And, and we're going to take it to the next level. Yeah. And I just like to say that, look, man, I don't, I don't ever have anything bad to say about Bongs, yeah. to be honest. All, yeah. I, all I have but to say. But he says you don't answer his phone calls. I don't answer Why? his phone calls because I just think that where I am in my life mm-hmm. is completely different to where I was. Yeah. Do you know, mm-hmm. um, just mind, body, soul. Yeah. You know, it's, it's nothing personal. Mm-hmm. And I sent him the message. Yeah. I said, you know, where you are in your life and where I am are completely different. Do you know what I mean? But I, I always have the utmost love and respect because, like yeah. I said, you know, I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for his help. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I just guess that, you know, I, I, I from a distance, I think Bongs needs uh, to still heal yeah. properly. He has a lot of healing to do. Uh-huh. And I think that uh, he needs to um, also just be a little bit more honest and, and real, like, you know, yeah, just healing and, and just self awareness, if, if, yeah, you, want, if you want yeah, to call yeah. it that. Coming out of Josie and, mm. and, and like, you know, my solo career is also just like, people don't know like you know I, I also didn't know where I was in my yeah. life you know yeah. and it was it was a very very difficult time for me because you creatively, know, the, uh, creatively mm-hmm. um, even emotionally mm-hmm. you know Pong's being my best friend like then we weren't we weren't friends or I don't know where, where he was or where, where I was or just you know so it was difficult for me and, and, and I just felt like I felt kind of alone because I just felt yeah. like Pong's really guided me into making music and he was like my producer mm-hmm. so it was like the first time like and I have to try to work with another producer. Yeah. He doesn't, like, does this guy... It was a genuine to, heartbreak. Yeah, so this guy know how to record me. I don't know. Josie was still doing some... We were still doing shows. Yeah. You know, we were, st- we were still making money. Mm-hmm. But, like, I was, I didn't really care about, like, the brand Deleuze. Do you know what I mean? I was just like, whatever. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, yeah. Keenan was uh, was definitely, like, the guy who was like, yo, bro, like, I, I don't know if anybody's ever told you, but, like, yo, your, your music slaps. And now, how's the relationship? Uh, people who know me, I'm, I'm, I'm a non-confrontational guy do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying so if I don't really get, get with your energy anymore mm-hmm. I have to protect my energy first sure so that's that's where the relationship is right now yeah it's 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 putting my energy first and self-preservation self-preservation first mm-hmm. and I just keep I just keep it moving all that he said she said mm-hmm. I'm out with all of that so I'm about to have I want well, my, my first one my love of my life mm-hmm. Maddie yeah uh, she's eight and uh-huh. then I'm about to have another one. Yeah? Yeah. Same mom. Same mom. Are you guys going to get married or what? <laughs> What's going on there now because... Look, I mean, let's see. Let's see where this world takes us to. Do you know? believe in marriage, though? Would you get married? Look, like, yeah. definitely something must happen. You yeah. Know, I can't be on these streets just being on these streets. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I so, hear you. Yeah, like, I, I never was really a family man because I was just always just trying to, like prove myself you know yeah. to 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 you know my friends pops to my, my my friends but mainly to like my dad because remember that story I told you about how like they they all wanted me to go to America right back to the states yeah yeah so for me it's always just been like grind 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 yeah I, you know I've had a very fortunate life um, I always used to depend on my dad for things until that day yeah. and and from then I was just always like yo I just gotta work 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 so I never really used to like pay any attention to to my family really mm-hmm. and uh, you know then I lost my dad and I'm like damn that's that's crazy like, yeah I can see now now that my dad is gone mm-hmm. I can see so much of myself or so much of my dad within myself yeah do you know what I'm saying because mm-hmm. like my dad always just used to work 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 mm-hmm. work 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 and like I'm always just like work 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 so now I'm just trying to take a different approach with this with the new baby coming along and yeah just take some time like I mean what haven't I done